Welcome! Today we are demonstrating how you can install a non-woven wall covering and a vinyl non-woven wall covering in an easy and professional way. It is easy to work with non-woven wall covering because you can apply the adhesive directly to the wall. We use rolls that are 70 centimeters wide. Read the instructions that come with a wall covering. Check whether all the rolls have the same product reference and batch code so you can be sure that there will be no color discrepancies. Unroll the wall covering and check whether everything is as it should be. The wall must be cleaned before you start. It must be even and smooth. Decide the point where you're going to start. Start with the second strip, counting from a corner. Measure the width of the wall covering and subtract two centimeters. So in this case, it would be 68 centimeters. Draw a vertical line at this point. We are using a spirit level, but you can also use a plumb line or a laser. Measure the height of the wall. Allow a few extra centimetres and cut the necessary strips to length. Always mark the top edge of the strip. All strips must be hung in the same direction, unless the instructions state otherwise. Open the adhesive pail and stir well. Pour the adhesive into the bucket. Put the ladder and adhesive bucket in position. Brush the adhesive onto the wall at the top and bottom right up to the edge. Use the microfiber roller to paste the walls. Spread the adhesive on both sides a little wider than the strip. Spread the adhesive evenly and sufficiently thickly. Roll up the strip with the rear surface on the outside. The marking you drew on the top of the edge strip is on the outside. Leave a bit extra at the top and bottom and position the strip against the vertical line in the adhesive. Press gently with the spatula and remove any bubbles. Press the wall covering well onto the wall at the top and bottom. Hold the snap-off cutter against the spatula and cut off the surplus paper. Always use a sharp blade. Preferably use a new piece of the snap-off cutter blade for each cut. Paste the rest of the wall and use the brush again for the corner. Place the second strip against the first one. Again allow a little extra wall covering at the top and bottom. Slide the strip until it is hanging just right, and then press well with the spatula. Press the seam between the two strips with the seam roller. Cut off the surplus piece in the corner against the floor and the ceiling. If you're working with washable wall covering, rub each strip completely clean with a sponge using clean water. In the meantime, also clean the ceiling and the skirting boards. Continue pasting the wall for the third strip and place the strip into the adhesive. After three strips, check whether the result is good. Continue until the whole wall is covered and deal with the next corner in the same way as the first one. Draw a vertical line on the other side of the corner. Cover this wall in the same way. You can now finish the whole room. Thanks for watching and good luck.